It's been a problem repeating itself here in the mid-state. Violence erupting at apartments near MTSU. This was the scene after a shooting at the Campus Villa Apartments just last month when neighbors sprung into action to help a man after he was shot. News Channel 5's Jason Lamb tells us what the city of Murfreesboro is trying to do to combat this problem. This is the next step in the plan that the city of Murfreesboro has to cut down on crime in apartments where students live. It's a plan that the police department is already carrying out. Every property owner has stepped up and really worked on, on, on their individual complexes. The plan announced by Murfreesboro Mayor Shane McFarland stems from a new unit of police officers that's been working with apartment complexes that primarily cater to students. Complexes that have seen their fair share of violence over the last year. I think we're putting the procedures in place to be able to help with that. This is the latest procedure in place. 13 rental companies participated Friday in the first free workshop where apartment managers learned best practices from Murfreesboro police and fire to make sure residents are safe. They've already been working with the police department on special lease additions, making it easier for apartments to kick out tenants who commit crimes. The apartment owners who are doing things the right way with security, with you know lighting, with making sure that their facilities are being able to maintain the way that they handle different parking requirements. Eventually, apartments can become certified as a crime-free multi-housing program participant after taking these classes and implementing police recommendations. Those apartments can use the certification to attract future residents. There are two other phases of the program for apartment complexes, including an on-site visit and getting tenants involved. In Murfreesboro, Jason Lamb, News Channel 5.